a blueprint for building scalable AI. In my last video, I talked about how business processes are the lifeblood of an organization and why you should model them in the right way. Only if we fully understand our processes can we make them better to deliver possibly exponential value to our customers. But there is a challenge with AI in general and machine learning specifically in delivering scalable production level solutions. Every time we want to create a machine learning model, we seem to be building everything from scratch, like scrounging for data, experimenting with different models, deploying them in different ways, and having a haphazard strategy about monitoring the models. This is because since AI came into the scene, every department is experimenting with the technology, trying to be innovative, but in the process, kicking off small machine learning projects that often don't see production. For the next project, the cycle begins all over again. The problem is we don't have an enterprise-wide systematic approach to build and deploy AI at scale. This is where machine learning operations, or ML ops as it's called, plays a significant role. First, let's take a brief look at software development. We've been at this for a few decades now, going through many iterations. We started ad hoc, much like the state of AI now. We wrote monolithic spaghetti code using waterfall development methodologies. Now, we have matured to a stable DevOps discipline. Now our code is modular and object-oriented using agile methodologies and a correspondingly mature deployment approach. Today's DevOps equips us with frameworks like CI CD or continuous integration, continuous delivery, through which we deploy codes hundreds of times a day with minimal risk. We can apply these same DevOps lessons to MLOps. There are some significant differences, of course. Software modules are deterministic. In other words, we know the logic behind how it works, which makes it easy to understand the system behavior. On the other hand, ML models or machine learning models are probabilistic since they are based on modeling data and there is no clear logic. It's often difficult to understand the system behavior even though the answer is generally right. As an analogy, a system that sends an alert when a stock price reaches below a threshold is deterministic, but a system that identifies when to sell the stock is probabilistic. Software drives business. So many companies have an IT department that's made up of infrastructure and applications built on top of that. Data just happens to be used in running the applications. With AI, we have two more important components that are distinctly different. One is the data as a means to learn probabilistic patterns, and two, is the accompanying ML technology. Many companies are trying to still figure out where these components fit within IT. By default, it's ending up in departmental silos that's not good in the long run. So what should ML ops look like? First, we have to get a handle on the data that's required to build models. Many data scientists spend 80% of their time trying to locate curate and clean data before it can be even considered useful to build machine learning models. Instead, we need a pipeline that makes it easier for data scientists to explore the value contained within the data. Next, we should assemble a set of tools and frameworks to rapidly build models. Numerous tools are available either through vendors for in-house deployments or through cloud providers as services. We can pick the right set of standardized tools across the enterprise to make this environment stable and predictable. Then we have the deployment phase where models are deployed into production. Machine learning models must be continuously updated and redeployed much more frequently than traditional software. Managing different model versions and the corresponding data that feeds them is important. Models may change over time because the underlying data may change and that's called model drift. So we need to monitor these models. 
Ultimately, these models deliver value to the customer. We should minimize the risk and reduce the unexpected changes to the customer's experience. Hence, model monitoring is a 24 by 7 operation. Ultimately, tomorrow's system will be a combination of both deterministic and probabilistic components. This means that we'll have stable software through the DevOps process and probabilistic software through the MLOps process, both working together to deliver high value to customers. The question is, how do you put this together at your enterprise so that you can build scalable and flexible systems? You must focus on building systems by assembling different components rather than building everything from scratch every time. That's a crucial strategy. This brings us to the innovation capability equation. On one hand, we should build stable components that can be assembled. On the other, we should explore new components to increase the library of stable components. Ironically, the larger the library of stable components, the more innovative the company will become because it can combine these components in many more ways for business value. Organize your enterprise as part innovation and part stable operations. The innovation feeds the operations. People, skills, processes, and technology for each of these parts will be different. In the former, you need creative thinkers, lightweight processes, and state-of-art technology. In the latter, you need disciplined executors, robust processes, and proven technologies. It's important not to mix this dichotomy. To do this well, you must step back and take an architectural perspective of your entire enterprise. With architecture, you can build an innovative AI factory. Architecture will identify the modules that make up this factory. If architected well, some modules can be replaced over time as both technology and businesses evolve. Leaders should now focus on building the enterprise by configuring it. As future people skills change, processes become better and technology advances, we will replace many of these modules to keep up with the demands of the marketplace. This helps the company to be much more agile and provides a remarkable customer experience each time. Leaders need to drive a fundamental mind shift and cultural shift in their organization to make this happen. People need to continue to learn and reskill. While your organization may support your personal learning journey, it is up to you as an individual to take charge of your future so you can position yourself well within your organization. How do you position yourself in this AI factory? Depends on your skills and interest. I plan to explore this topic in a little more detail in my next video. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. For a one-page visual summary of this video, sign up on my website. Thank you deeply for giving me the motivation to do what I do.